Idaho's population is booming, and with more people moving in, many of those are installing solar panels on the roofs. Southern Idaho gets more than 200 sunny days a year, making solar uh, energy appealing. Yeah, however, incentives from Idaho Power and federal programs could be cut, as Aspen Shumpert explains, that may hike solar costs and your energy bill. Almost 20,000 homes in the Gem State are lined with solar panels on its roof. It provides a predictable way to know that they can they can power the loads in their home uh, with or without the grid. And and really, uh, you know, since the, the COVID times, power rates have just gone up and up and up. So they there's also a financial benefit to it, you know, over the long run. Kenny Fawninstill, COO of Big Dog Solar, says he's seen the demand for solar energy grow since the company started installations nearly two decades ago. When we first started running the company, we did a lot of off-grid uh, solutions for people that had cabins in remote areas. Um, and over that time, it's transitioned from that to um, small commercial and uh, a lot of residential. For homeowners that took the leap, financial incentives have been available for years, but that's changing. The first hit comes from Idaho Power. Currently, homeowners pay the solar companies that install their panels for the energy they produce. Any energy that's left over, Idaho Power buys back from homeowners to use for their neighbor's energy supply. Since 2022, Idaho Power has paid those customers on average 5 cents to 17 cents per kilowatt hour, depending on the season. A kilowatt hour is how much energy your home's appliances use in an hour. But earlier this year, the utility company proposed paying homeowners less, ranging from one cent to 14 cents per kilowatt hour, a difference of about three, four cents per hour. I thought that it was unfair, but kind of understood it from a business, but I don't think they give the, the true value for uh, the kilowatts that are put on the grid. Fawnen still says he's more concerned about a federal tax credit program that's been eliminated by the big, beautiful bill. It's disheartening. I would think that that will have a more more of an impact on affordability for customers. The program ending means homeowners would need to complete a solar installation by the end of this year in order to qualify for a 30 percent tax credit on their installations total price tag. I do see a path forward without it because I still see see energy costs rising. I truly believe that that, you know, in the in the very near future, most homes will, if not have solar, just have a battery backup system so they can have uninterrupted power uh, no matter what the grid's doing. 